Hello all. Today we will learn how to export firewall logs to Kiwi Syslog server. So the objective of this lab is to enable and try real-time logging in the CLI of the firewall. And then we will set up a syslog receiver in the firewall and export firewall logs to Kiwi Syslog server. Like uh, for the syslog server, I have taken Kiwi Syslog server as an example. You can take any other syslog server as well. There are so many syslog server available. Uh, you can use any one. So these are the tools which we have to use uh, while doing this. So uh, first of all, I have installed VMware. Uh, which is a platform on which you can install a firewall image means I have taken up VMware then on VMware I have installed a firewall image by making a virtual machine and then I have installed a Kiwi syslog server manager on my laptop so let's let's check how we can do this so first of all let me log in my firewall So this is the VMware workstation where I have installed my firewall. So this is the firewall. Let me log in in it. You can easily install it um, on your laptop. Like you can just download the software from the Google and it's very simple to install it. Then in download an uh, image of any firewall. You can take any image of firewall like you can take the Palo Alto or the uh, whatever you you know and then just install it here I have taken the example of um, NetShield firewall let's open it now I can log in now so first of all check what are the Ethernet interfaces which are configured on it So I, this is the firewall on which I have not configured any interfaces. Uh, let's take another firewall on which we can check the interfaces. booting up first of all we will check IP address then uh, we will check um, on which IP address we have to bind this syslog server and accordingly we'll do that so it's on now press enter to load the CLI of the firewall now, now this is the CLI of the firewall now press if start to check the interfaces so these are the interfaces which are configured on this firewall. Now on the first interface we have the IP 192.168.121.10. Okay. This which you need to remember because you have to configure this IP on the syslog server. Okay. So first of all we will configure. Uh, let's come on this. So we have to first of all configure. A, we have to set up a syslog receiver on the firewall. Now come on the firewall again. So guys, I have already configured it. Let me show you. Show log receiver. So these are the three syslog receivers which I have installed on uh, this uh, my firewall. Let me show you an example. How to configure the syslog receiver on the firewall. So we have the command. In all other firewalls, the, this command is not same for all the firewalls. So it's depend, but the concept is same. So let add log receiver. 
tab what we have to do log receiver syslog then uh, we have to enter a name for the new object let's take um, um, anything like um, I have earlier I have taken log to k kiwi let's let's again make it log to kiwi server okay this is the name now I have to give the IP address so 192.168.121.30 okay now port you have to define the port whether you have to uh, like transfer the your your this data from UDP or TCP it depends like I have opt UDP so port number for UDP is 514 enter now it's added now let us activate and commit it it's activated and committed so now show log receiver let's see yes log to kiwi server which just we have installed um, we have configured it's showing on the number three okay so now it's done now go to kiwi now this is our kiwi so go on file setup now after setup this is the option these are the options on which you can play around so first of all input so input means receive messages from below ip address so you have to give the ip address from which you have you can receive the messages so i have given the ip address of my firewall let us let us check again come on firewall give if stat this is the command for checking the ethernet interface ip addresses so first if one is 192.168.121.10 then come again on our this so that's why i have added this now come on udp in udp i have given 514 which is the port for udp and the, this is the main guys this is the address bind to address like with which address we have to bind this syslog server so i have to bind this with my uh, vm which is my virtual machine where i have installed the firewall so this is the ip of my vmware okay so after then if you want to see so how you can check now go on this this is your uh, network connections uh, go on control panel network and internet and go on the network connections here is my adapter vmware network adapter properties you can go in there now the ipv4 now see i have given the ip range same ip range which i have given to the firewall interface 192 168 121 30 i have chosen now the gateway gateway obviously i have given 10 because it's the uh, my vm ip my interface ip so 10 then press ok and again go to my syslog receiver then press apply okay And then guys go and manage and start the syslog services and now you can see the messages are coming here. This start it again. Yeah now it's coming. So these all are the means these all are the logs firewall logs which are coming here and this is your firewall suppose i have to check whether the log is really coming on it or not so now uh, first of all uh, let's let's switch off or let's we can change our ip address also so the same log will reflect over here so let's change the ip address of ethernet interface 2 okay so how you can change now go right set interface ethernet interface 
if2. Now you have to change the IP address. IP address is equal to 192.168. Let's do the 121.50. So it's modified. Now we have to activate it. C. Activated. C. The logs are coming for activated. And then commit. When I have committed this, see, committed logs are coming. So, whatever I am doing on the firewall, same are replicating in my, same logs are replicating on my Kiwi syslog server. So, guys, like this, you can troubleshoot, you can check on which port my logs are coming and other, uh, other things you can check while you have a um, troubleshooting um, call or something, you can see this thing. I hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you so much.